what's up? So, about to go to Peru. Um, actually, it's morning time right now. It's on Thursday. I'm not going to date this video because I, I don't really want to date videos. But I'm just getting ready. As you can see, nice and clean. Nice and clean. Uh, stuff is getting packed. So, excuse the mess. But, uh, yeah, looks like um, we're going to get going. Uh, not right now. Uh, actually, I have some work to do. So we're not going to leave until uh, probably a couple hours. But I'm going to vlog on my way out. But I just wanted to start the morning off. Let you know I'm vlogging the whole entire trip. So that's what we're doing. All right. I'm on the way to the airport now. Actually, it's the baseball stadium right there. Every mind me, it's like in the middle of the city. So... So, um, I got this camera all over my face. So we're into the airport right now, Fort Lauderdale right now. I'll probably check in with you when I get there because I actually want to, I actually need to do something on my phone. So I'll check in with you guys later. All right, so I'm still waiting. I've been here for like two hours just waiting for this damn flight. It is what it is. And I'm going to sleep. I'm gonna sleep on this flight for real. So I get back with y'all right now and I'm going to sit down right. Alright, as you can see I finally sat so Alright it's past 10 and we still haven't taken off. Mind you, we're supposed to be landing right now. We're only 10.30. We're supposed to take off at 5.30. We're so. <sighs> like five hours behind. Like five hours behind. Like that's... It is what it is, but... Five hours? So, I'll check in with y'all when I land. It's so, but um, what can you do? I'm not flying a plane, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe it was some weather, maybe it was something, I don't really know. It's what it is, we're here. So yeah, like I'm saying, we just got here. So we just landed. It's 3.30 in the morning. As you can see, everybody's sleeping. We were supposed to be here like five hours ago, but it is what it is. We are here, so I'm on. Give me a little snack. I'm gonna hop in a cab and go to sleep. So I'll check in with you guys in the morning. I'll see you later. Actually, one more thing. So, you guys are a little me. It's a little weird, though. I'm like a little bit of an incel. He was like bumping into people, talking a little crazy whatever but anyway we're here you have made it you have made it you have made it you made it to Peru so I'm gonna hop in this cab get to the hotel and get some damn sleep so I will check in with you guys in the a.m. because I gotta sleep all right so I got a taxi because there's no lift in Peru, but hopefully we'll make it to the hotel. Uh, oh, gracias. And uh, getting in the back right now. We hit it right there. Let's go.
some sleep. Um, we got a busy, 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 busy active day. I gotta be up in like three hours because I'm gonna have some, some breakfast and get going. I pretty much slept on the whole entire flight. It was very uncomfortable, but it is what it is. Actually, it was not uncomfortable. I'm lying. The only thing that made it uncomfortable was the AC. It was a, it had a, a little too high. Um, but I had plenty of leg room, you know, it was, it was nice. It was nice. All right, anyway, I gotta get ready to go to sleep, so I'll check in with you in the morning. All right, so my phone died when I woke up this morning and I had a converter, but it was converted to like every other country but here. So I had to walk down the street and get one, yikes. So um, <clears throat> we're about to walk out on the street, go to the city center. Uh, I already ate, so I ate here at the hotel. As you can see, it's hot. I am hot. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at, and uh, I'll be checking in with you. And um, really, my plans got ruined because of uh, how soon, how late we got in. We were supposed to get in uh, like 10.30 last night, and I was supposed to hop on a bus this morning because I wanted to take the bus from, from Lima to Cusco. But, I didn't get in a hotel until like, I had to book a hotel because I got here so damn late. So we got to change the plans. Might have to go ahead and fly to Cusco tonight. We'll see. We shall see. I don't know. So we're gonna figure this thing out. You know what I didn't even take into account that it's a, it's a holiday today. So it's like hella people out in the street. Pull up in this, in this cathedral to see what's going on. So as you see, it's really, really packed here. Really, really packed because of the holiday. So right now I'm going to a historic site in Lima. So once I get there, I'm gonna start filming because I'm trying to conserve my battery because my chargers are charging up at the hotel. And I'm not fully charged right now, so we all charging up right now. So let me get on out of here. So, I'm at the city center right now, as you can see, it's really, really crazy. So, yeah. It's, a, it's a, a holy holiday, that's why you see a lot of these things on the ground. So, let's keep that in mind. Now, let's, get, let's get a snack. We need a snack right now. I'm gonna look for a snack. I got my water. Gotta stay hydrated, but I want to get a snack from somewhere. And this 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 square looks like it has all the good snacks. Uh, damn, they got the whole pig out right here. If you didn't know, Peru is known for its pisco sour, and they even sell it on the street right here. Um, not really trying to get lit right now. Um, not what I came for. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So. I need to get some some coconut water. That's what I need to get. So I'm gonna look for some. Yeah, so it's the river like right there behind me. One way we can go over it is like right over this bridge over here. Oh, um, yeah, the river is not not necessarily blue ocean. It's actually brown brown water. Uh, but yeah. Here we are. As you see, I'm leaving the city center, and these look like the favelas. Uh, I'm leaving the city center and these look like the shanty towns. So, good thing I know the language, so otherwise I wouldn't be going in so many areas. But, I'll keep you updated. Alright, I am on the edge of the favelas. Around here, you gotta be a little careful. Uh, if you don't know the language, don't come around here. So if you like fish, you know, I don't eat. Seafood is where you want to get it from. Uh, this whole area on the favela has good fish. So just remember this is a holiday. It's not a normal day. So these favelas are a more festive. Got a donkey right here. So I'm moving up, moving up the favela. 
We're just going. And uh, I can't remember the name of this neighborhood. I think it's Re Remont. I believe it's Remont. So this is some street food I got. Um, really good, flavorful. Even the white rice, which I'm not a big fan of white rice, it's still really good. But, um, I'm gonna head back in town because we're gonna visit the museum real quick. Now I'm gonna get back at y'all. But we're in Remont. Remont. But like I said, I caught it on a good day because it's a holiday. So probably usually not always like this as you see. It's a, a whole lot of a whole lot of extreme property going on. So good people. You can see it's a lot going on right now. Oh, look at this shit. All right, so I'm heading back. I think I'm gonna attempt to climb a little bit of this over here. And as you see behind me, you got the mountains and you got this. So still steadily moving. So as you see, I'm walking down. You can see like the mountains over here. So you can see everything right there. Um, we were here earlier, but you know, my phone died. So we had to go back to the hotel and charge it up a little bit. But that's okay. As you see, we're still here. These streets are empty, but we're actually gonna go to the right. So you can actually see some of the festival going on. You can see some of the mountains right there. Let's get, let's get a good view. All right, back where we started. On the edge, so as you can see, some of the infrastructure is kind of like messed up. Well, this is a nice bike, though. I don't know if I should ride this, but anyway, this is what we're doing. This is where we are. We're gonna try to get up the mountain as high as I possibly can because I'm really, really on a tight schedule right now. Shout out to JetBlue for fucking up my schedule. I was trying not to curse in these videos, but, you know, sometimes it you know, just happens. But anyway, we're having a great time. I'm having a great time. So I'm just filming this and I'll get back with you. You can see people up there hiking, so that's where I'm headed to right now. There we go. Back to vlogging, cause uh, my battery died. I look like I sold dope in the early 80s, right? It's like a, like a cocaine cocaine cowboy look in. Anyway, let's get back to it. All right, so I'm back and it's hot. You know, everybody's out here celebrating. Celebrating too. So we are just gonna keep this thing moving. Oh, that popcorn sounds good. So we need some fruit right now. I just saw a big old thing, a yellow dragon fruit. So I actually wanna get some of that right now. So hopefully we can see some of that. Actually, get some of that. Uh, Chicho Marara. <laughs> Chicha Marara. Chicha Marara. So this is Chicha Marara. Mm. Mm. It's refreshing too. It's really it's good. Really good. Yeah. Really bueno. See. Only really great hospitality. Great hospitality. So hopefully I can get them on camera before my phone dies once again. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Once again. Want to say hi? I'm vlogging this. Show me great hospitality. <laughs> Alright, we're back. I'm about to get some snacks for the tour tomorrow. So I had to take a, a detour uh, from my whole schedule. So, uh, it's a long story, but the guy you saw that I was eating with and sitting down talking to, um, he was able to hook me up with some. Uh, an amazing play so it's, it's it's working out some way shape or form but right now i need toothpaste because i forgot to bring my my specific type of toothpaste and the toothbrush those mangoes look good what is this 
But anyway, as you see, I'm in the store about to grab some. Not gonna be out too late tonight because I gotta be up at 3.30. I gotta be, yeah, I gotta be up at 3.30 because we gotta leave at four in the morning. As you can see, I'm in the grocery store just grabbing. There's a few different things that I want. And that's really it, man. Um, yeah, I'll get back with y'all. All right, it's at night. I'm heading towards the city central, but I'm about to go to the water park because there's a festival there. It's actually like a really big festival here tomorrow, but I won't be here tomorrow. Also, I wish my phone didn't die because I really wanted y'all to see some something. It was it was a parade going on in it. Like these, it was for, for what, what, what's today, Passover? I don't know what it is, Good Friday? But anyway, they had like these hoods on, and this, hoods on, but actually it was like a black hood. And then they were just walking around carrying caskets. It was pretty interesting, man. So, uh, and the streets were filled. As you can see, the streets are filled right now. All right, now I'm at the water park. I want to show you this. This is pretty, pretty cool. It's just water sprinklers everywhere, like all over the place. So, I'm going to take some footage and show you this. get a cleaner shot of the stadium right there. So we're on a tour right yeah, now. As you can see, since it's a holiday, it's a lot of people here. But um, I'm gonna have some fun. Oh, by the way, I'm in Tarakas. So we're by the, we're by the shore, as you can see right there. Esta excursión de Candelabro e Islas Ballestas Vamos a tener aproximadamente una hora veinte minutos de recorrido El primer punto será el Candelabro y luego a las Islas Ballestas Por favor, durante el viaje mantener los chalecos puestos y ajustar bien sus gorros Ajustar bien sus gorros el lado norte de la península de Paracas a esta figura la conocemos como el Campo 63 nada más ahí está esta especie de pingüino es el pingüino de Jumbo al igual que todas las aves que vamos a ver esta mañana solo las van a encontrar desde el norte de Chile hasta la costa norte de Perú, hasta el departamento de Piura. Es la especie más pequeña del planeta, mide máximo 60 centímetros. So, this penguin is a Humboldt, Humboldt penguin, Humboldt cowboy. Humboldt was the name of a German naturalist who came in the 18th century to do several researches about ecology. Let's take a look to this arch, to this arch in front of us, the right side looks like Jesus Christ is looking down to the water. Jesus yeah. Christ profile looking down to the water on the arch. Oh, you can I see, see the ground, the yeah. nose, the mouse, and the sheep on the bottom. One is a chorus. 
y también algunos arañas de mar tan lejitos, si tienen buena vista por el medio. So, on the bottom, on the bottom of the island, there's all the shells, all the shells. Una de ellas, el año pasado hemos sacado, toda la isla está cubierta de aves, hasta ahora ya salen a, salen a buscar alimento. So, the bird, the little one is Inca Terran, Inca Terran, T-E-R-N, Terran. Okay, there is a male, a young, a young male, there is a female, and there is a little pup. Okay, the female on the left. Male. This is a female, una hembra también aquí al lado izquierdo. Once meses de gestación y solo una cría al año. Una cría al año, pero... Cuando dan a luz, entre los tres a ocho días, era algo muy importante de haber dado a luz, buscan al macho, a cargo de la ley para salir premiadas nuevamente. Así que cada año está, estará completamente vacía. Completamente vacía. ¿Dónde se van los nuevos? A los ratarines o a buscar mejores zonas de alimentación. Get on the boat for. Uh, I think we're about to eat or have some drinks. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're doing next. I'll get back with you guys. We're going into this nice uh, restaurant. I, I don't know what I'm eating, but it's gonna be good. So we're here at what's the name of this place? Pisco. I think it's Pisco Vinos. Pisco Vinos. Where they actually make uh, pisco grapes and pisco sours, and pisco the actual hop. So we're here, and I'm gonna keep filming a little bit later. I gotta charge my phone, but I wanna actually experience this. And they were used here to put the juice, and after it was covered by the lama One of the techniques to drink is to put in your mouth five seconds you know, with your yeah, <laughs> like that, like that, and after you can pass it straight. Okay. to tell you like we we we, we ate lunch dinner so i didn't film it um but yeah Need some people playing soccer right there so i'll check in with you
So guys, I'm in front of this lost city, Inca, which is right behind me, as you see right here. And it's in the middle of the desert, so it's pretty, pretty fly view. I want, I want you to see all of this. So, so as you can see, it's really nice. It's beautiful, and I'm actually going to walk down there, so um, I'm going to show you the track down there. It's pretty steep. But I, you know, I was already like all the way up there, but I'm just going back down and I'm going to show you and then I'm going to walk back down. Peace. Okay, you can't see me because, oh, yeah, actually you can. So we're walking back down the hill from the Oasis because we actually have to go uh, to the van or bus or whatever it's called. That's where we're headed right now. So as you can see, it's a little chaotic. Alright guys, so this is like the last day. Uh, yesterday was crazy because um, yesterday was crazy because uh, I was on like a one day tour and it started at like for me 3.30 in the morning because I was the first one on the actual shuttle. Um, yeah, so I, we didn't get back to like almost 1.30 in the morning. So it was, it was, it was very, it, hold on. it was very actually uh, 1.30. So we went uh, to a few places, Paracools, we went to the Inca, we went to, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm about to get some fruit. So I woke up a little late today because it still was up, but I'm about to get some of this, chop this up and eat this because these things are amazing. And they're only a dollar twenty-five here in US dollars. So and if anybody knows anything about yellow dragon fruit in the States, he was talking about like seven, eight bucks for this. So let's see if I can pack as many as I possibly can. But anyway, um, it's time to get something to eat and get the day started. So, so it's Easter celebration right now. So it's a lot of people at these chapels. Uh, the president and his army was doing like a lot of marching. Uh, Allah, uh, <laughs> I'll be, I will, I did, I will. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll come back. <laughs> so. I've been seeing like a lot of, gotten cool with some of the specific locals because I knew a local who actually like really helped me out. Um, so right now I'm about to go get some street food at the edge of the favelas and then I'm gonna double back and go, I'm gonna take the train to the beach because I was gonna take a cab, but I'm like, <coughs> let me get a little more authentic and then we'll just go from there. So I'll holler back at you. <coughs> Tradition, a traditional Peruvian food dish. So it's a uh, chafe de cocina. So it's basically like rice, plantains. Uh, it has ham, but you know, I'm gonna take the ham out because I don't eat ham. And um, we'll go back, get some dragon fruit, get a little dragon fruit that I have at the hotel, and then we're gonna hit the beach. Maybe even do a little surfing. All right, now I'm about to go to the beach. I'm about to go to Waikiki. So uh, oh, let me get out the way before it's got guys run us over. So, I'm about to go to Waikiki right now. I'm gonna be there in about 20 minutes, 20, maybe like 30 minutes. So I'm heading there right now. And I will show you where I'm at. You can see it's a little busy around right here, but I'll check in with you on the way there and I'm gonna take some footage. On the other side of town, this is uh, De Julio, uh, Pero De Julio, I believe. Um, and it's obviously a lot better looking over here than on the other side of town because we were, remember we were out we went to this morning to the favelas which is extreme poverty and now we're at um near the ocean and tennis. I should get into tennis and anyway we're gonna walk to the beach uh probably gonna get a smoothie from somewhere uh but we're walking to the beach right now yeah so as you see this is a beautiful side of town it's a gym actually right there i would actually like to get it in but let's see if they have a 
apparently there's a gym on the beach. So, you know, I like gyms on beaches. So we're gonna go there. Um, I'll probably head back in a, probably like two, three hours, uh, make some music. I actually wanted to go to uh, somebody's parents down over there. I actually wanted to go to um, the studio, but things have just been moving so fast the whole time I've been here. But, you know, we'll, we'll probably cook up something. Uh, when I get back to the hotel before I head to the flight, or maybe just even in a cab, I'll make something real quick. So yeah, I'll get back with you. All right, so we're walking down, walking down, and I'm gonna film this, film me walking this down. Film me walking down, that's what I'm saying. Playa Makaya. So this is where a lot of people surf at. As you can see, there's a lot of parasailing going on. But we're gonna go down to the waters and get a little bit closer. And this drive over here is amazing. As you see, this beach is crowded today. Really crowded, but we're gonna find some space here. So we're gonna find a little bit of space. I don't know where at, but we're gonna find some. So I'm here at Makai. Right now, and there's a lot of life. Um, I don't know if I actually have enough time to do it this go around, but next time. So, I'm headed back to the hotel right now. Take a shower, and I'm gonna head to the airport. I'll get back with you. So, I'm at the airport right now. I'm about to head back, as you can see. This was a very, very successful trip, even though it didn't go as I planned it, but change and wind up working out in a really good way but i will be back in peru probably in like another month or two uh i'll get back at with you and i'll see you in sunny florida